Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out this unusual live animal mousetrap that pretty much looks like a big hunk of plastic cheese connected to a bottle. It's called a catch a mouse humane mousetrap. It's advertised as being the caring consumer's choice for pest control. It's eco friendly, reusable, touch free, multiple catch mousetrap, and safe for use around pets and children. So let's take it out of the box and see what this trap looks like. Here's what the catch a mouse humane mousetrap looks like out of the box. It's a plastic triangle here with an opening on the bottom. The idea is that the mouse wants the bait in the bottle so it'll climb through this opening. You can see a little ball there with a spring. It'll want to get that bait so it'll lift up that ball and then climb through this hole and enter the bottle. And when it does that spring and that ball come back down and it resets itself so the mouse can't get out. So this can catch multiple mice as long as they want to climb through and get that bait. Now you can use different size bottles with this trap. Here I'm using a two liter soda bottle. It simply screws into the back of the trap like that. You want to make sure you have bait in the bottle. I'm going to use peanut butter and you just set it flat on the ground like that and the mouse will enter and get caught in the bottle. I'm using a two liter soda bottle because I want to catch multiple mice and make sure they have enough room. I'm really curious if this trap works as well as it says it does. So let's go set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see how many mice we can catch in the catch a mouse humane mouse trap. Last night we caught a mouse in this humane catch a mouse mouse trap. This little guy in there was not able to escape so clearly this trap works well. One thing I noticed after reviewing the motion camera footage of this trap is that it requires quite a bit of effort on the mouse's part to get caught. They have to enter the trap, push up that little ball with the spring and then squeeze through the tight opening in the bottle. So they really have to want to get to that bait in order to get caught. I noticed all night long other mice were coming into the mouth of the trap but were either too skittish or unwilling to push up that ball. So we only caught one mouse. But that's probably best. Some of the mice were pretty aggressive in the motion camera footage and in other multi-catch live animal traps that I've had, they've uh, actually, when confined in a tight space, eaten each other and turned into cannibals. We're going to release this mouse since uh, it's caught in a humane trap. I always release them. I'm going to turn it either upside down so that the mouse can climb through. That ball falls down and it has a clear opening to climb out here. Or if you also want to, you can just screw off the bottle and let it come out. So let's go release this mouse in the wild. Now that we're outside, I'm just going to unscrew the bottle here and let that mouse climb out. There he goes. It's kind of a tight squeeze for the mice to get through there. The Green Bottle USA Catch-A-Mouse Mousetrap. An interesting design and uh, clearly it catches mice.